Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Kai here checking in with another video hey, today. Today we got Aunt Glizzy, Bobson TV. This right here is DMV's most disrespectful diss song history. OG Man Man. Just gonna get into it. What's up, y'all? This is Aunt Glizzy and this is Bobson TV. And today we got. DMV's most disrespectful diss song, OG Man Man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 100K subscribers. Whew. This is a long go, y'all. I don't really know OG Man Man all like that, but let's get into it. This is Robin from DC. He from the DMV. Let me just say the DMV. He from the DMV. His name is OG Man Man. From DC. I had got hip to him. He had dropped a diss song. It was a diss song that came out, and when this song came out, it was related to a person, like a, a person that people knew in the city. It's a guy named Chris, all right. It's a rapper by the name of Big Flock. Big Flock got a best friend named Lil Chris. Lil Chris uh, died in a, a, a accident also new at 11, a Hampton University student died after falling from an I-64 bridge in Richmond this morning. State police say 19-year-old Christopher A. Smith fell from the Shaco Valley Bridge. They say he was riding in a car and got into an argument with other passengers. The car stopped and he got out, then fell over the side. Smith is from Bowie, Maryland. Police are now looking for that car. It was on the bridge, like they was on the bridge. I don't know what happened on the bridge. It was accident. Uh, it was ruled an accident. An uh, accident happened on the bridge, and he ended up losing his life. He ended up that just sounded weird. I never knew the backstory, um, but that just sounded weird. It was an argument in the car. They was on a bridge. What the fuck, niggas pushed them off the bridge? Them falling over the bridge or off the bridge or some in that form. And everybody had, everybody had knew the story. Everybody had seen it. Everybody had seen it all over the news. It was coming out the clips, and I knew it was Flock's big flock. I knew it was his best friend. So, here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online: don't spend another dime on Amazon until you. Flock career coming up. He always talk about Lil' Chris. He still talk about Lil' Chris to this day. That was his right-hand man. You feel what I'm saying? So, the whole city see it. It's sad. He ended up having a funeral, and I ended up seeing his funeral. He was like, you know, this was Instagram. Y'all know when you had your funerals nowadays, they record it. So, they recorded the funeral. I seen it on Instagram. He had, like, a good funeral. That was the first person I ever seen put in the wall, like, they got like a wall, a mirror, a mirror, a mural, or what? I can't even say the word, y'all. Uh, a mural, but whatever the word is, they got a memorial. Let's call it a memorial. They got a memorial mural wall, a big old wall where you can open it, like the wall open, but your tombstone on the wall. But they pull the wall back, put your casket in there, shut it, and your tombstone be on the wall. You're not in the ground. You on the wall. I said, golly, they they got some money. Like that got to be some rich, man. Like. I ain't never seen that. I seen people barely get a casket. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> facts. The blue joint or the black joint. Like, don't even look over there. If you in the $7,000 budget, like, them joints 14 or better over there. You can't even look over there with the gold handles. You gotta get the blue or the black. It's like, bro, you did. I'm going to go blues. You lived a black life your whole life. You give them the blue one. The man, the blue joints 5400 Them black joints 5600 You extra 200 you get you some flowers. Go ahead, man. Give my man the blue one. That's your boom. They put him in the wall, like, he got put on the wall. I seen flowers on the wall, so, like, years went past, probably a couple years went past after it. But I told y'all, I know Flock from rapping. I, I don't know Chris at all. I don't even know OG Meme. OG Meme didn't come in this at the time. This is just Flock, best friend, mm -hmm. passing away. And I know what he going through. We wasn't as tight as we was back in the day, but we still was cool. We was mutual. But man, Flock always been cool and mutual besides the Shy Glizzy nonsense, but... He always been cool and mutual, but the world know they story. That's just him and his homeboy, and his homeboy ended up passing away in a tragic accident. So I don't know if OG Man Man got into it with Flock, or I don't know what, 
But I know OG Man Man came out with a diss song. And the diss song had Big Flock friend in it. The, the guy who passed away from the bridge, Lil Chris. It had him in it. And the diss song was like talking about the whole situation. Like him falling off a bridge. Like he, the, the Flock friend passed away from falling off a bridge on an accident. In the song, the guy put that same bridge, the guy put a body falling off that bridge dying. He went to Flock, not Flock, he went to uh, Chris Gravesite. He went to Chris Gravesite. It was a big Flock diss song. He went to Chris Gravesite. That's Flock homeboy who passed away. I've never seen that before in my life, though, y'all. This was 10 years ago. This was this was years ago, though, y'all. This, this happened before I was a rapper. This happened before the Jacksonville who I smoke, baby, tiki, leaky, all that. This before all that. I think he started that wave of going to a grave site. Black Gimson did that years later. He was the first person I ever seen in my life go to a grave site and burn something at a grave. It was like so disrespectful. It was like, imagine how disrespectful it is now. Imagine somebody did it 10 years ago. Like, whoa, that was out of this world. I swear, so the video came out, the diss song, it was the most disrespectful, if the video was on YouTube somewhere, y'all, OG Man Man diss, the most disrespectful diss song ever, but Chris was a, a college student, Chris was a college student, I think he was home on a, I think he was home for a uh, college break or something, they was in college, they were school kids, like they good kids, I think they went to Hampton or something, I don't know, but they, they like good kids, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they ain't, really outside like turn so like him dying is weird like you feel what i'm saying so like people real hurt behind it like i hear all good stuff about chris i never met him or nothing but i hear all good stuff about his name i i like how the way flock keep his name alive like that's flock dog like you cannot tell one thing i can tell you something about you cannot talk about little chris to uh to flock because i you i can see like i can tell like that's just that's what keeps him going on my mother it's like my GQ story, my GQ situation, and my best friend, Flock Curry, his best friend the same way. He holds him down. But, so this dis this disrespectful song come out. I'm like, who shot this video? Like, this, listen to me, y'all. The song was so disrespectful, the person who shot the video and edited the video, they couldn't even put their edit on it. Like, they couldn't put edit by no, no, no. Cameraman didn't even want no credit. He just wanted the money shooter. But if I was a cameraman, I just was telling I wouldn't even, the video was so crazy, I wouldn't even shout it like the spirits in that. Like, once I seen that video, I said to myself, it wasn't OG Man Man was gonna pass away, it was how long he had before he passed away. That's how disrespect the video was. I called you, like, asked you, did you feel the type way, and I was gonna pull up on you, you ain't respond. So I'm like, all right, you gonna respond to me saying this on this song, or do something, you still ain't do this You hear me? You sure. talk about all these guns, it been how long since the video been out? I ain't even hear no gunshots. Y'all hear any gunshots? The, the, and it's not that somebody gonna do something to him. God, not about that. At that time, like maybe 2024 people been getting away with that. But at that time, God wasn't about to let you put that out here in the world and you was gonna get away with that and live with that and walk around. So long story short, OG Man Man dropped the song. It's going viral. I'm talking about it's on every blog. It's going to say shit. It's everywhere in the world. It's blowing up. It's doing what it's supposed to do. He getting all, the, all up. All the accolades from it, it's blowing up. I don't know what the thing. Flock might have been in jail or went to jail. I don't know. Some I don't know where Flock was at at this time. But the city, like, damn, the most disrespectful ever. Like, and it's in the city, like DC, where I'm like, I don't know it, but he just and dragging. OG man, man, just still going with the song, man. Y'all niggas did that and third. He just going off with it, living off the fame with the song. I swear, y'all can't make this up. OG Man Man was found dead. Like, I don't know if it was weeks, months. I don't know how late it was, but I know he died. I know that he died right after that song. After that song, he died. So are social media music, uh, media music videos influencing the violence we're seeing in D.C.? A study released earlier this year says yes. For the last six months, our Matt Gregory has analyzed city homicide numbers. Tonight, he has new reporting on the connection between these music videos and the ramped up neighborhood gun violence. Six years later, his mother, Lucille Leach, vividly remembers how the conflict started. My son didn't even rap until this person 
put out a song on my son. Rival made a song calling her son a snitch, and Antonio felt he had to respond. Lucille, meanwhile, watched helplessly as the conflict spiraled out of control. After the video came out, I want to say it was two weeks after they killed my son. When this person killed my son, they took a part of me away. Crimes that are occurring because of slights that are being traded back and forth between, you know, rap groups or, or, or crews. Wayne Jacobs is the special agent in charge of the FBI's D.C. field office. His office tracks DC's neighborhood crew violence. It's not necessarily about the music, but it's people using the music as a platform to talk about things that they're either doing or issues or disputes. Nah, that big flock this to my man. He said, uh, he said, uh, nigga said, big flock said, and my man, he an informant. Though he was real, he put on a good performance. Nah, he crazy, he crazy, man, man, out that joint. He said, and hey, man, man, he an informant. Though he was real, he put on a good performance. That nigga, man, man, he made that diss song back at him. Hey, that shit was crazy. Having with others. And this 2021 report by the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform backs that up. Their analysis of DC's gun violence found, quote, exacerbating the social media incited shootings are music videos sparking a series of comments and competing videos that escalate into shootings. That's something that Miss Leach agrees with. Between the poverty and the ongoing neighborhood conflicts, to her, Antonio wasn't caught up in violent music. He got caught in a violent cycle. Please just stop. It, it's just stop because you could be the next one and your mom had to bury you. Like, I... I ain't gonna say I knew he was gonna die, but I knew he was gonna die. I was like, bro, you can't even do that. I couldn't do that. Nobody could do that. He died. Somebody gunned him down in a neighborhood. He ended up getting gunned down in a neighborhood right after that diss song. I think they might got a news clip to it. I'll let the news clip tell y'all the, the rest of it, but I don't really know. But that was the most disrespectful song in DC history. Like, the video, it's just the timing of it, y'all. This was 10 years ago. This wasn't this era. This was in the first, this was another generation ago. He did another, he did some in this generation, another generation ago. So imagine how hard it hit it. It was crazy. But to the guys that's doing that, if you dissing the dead, making diss songs, going to graveyards and all that, I'm telling you, the energy you're putting out, karma is real. That's all I can tell you. I'm out the streets. I'm a civilian. I don't want no trouble. The streets beat me down so bad, y'all. I want y'all out. I'm just here to tell y'all. I ain't even got to tell y'all the, the reminiscent stories. I'm just say I'm a civilian, bro. Just let it go. Bob or something.